Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and happy new year. My name is Jackie and thank you for watching. So it's been a while since I filmed. I didn't film any holiday makeup looks like I wanted to and I'm pretty late to filming this video. This is going to be my 2020 empties and what I repurchase video. So uh, the reason being is I per usual, always have a lot of technical difficulties with filming. Um, first, my tripod that's attached to my ring light just broke. <laughs> so I think I mentioned that in my last video um, because my setup was all weird and I had to improvise. And then I lost my memory card, so I had to order a new one. Here's to the new year and hoping nothing else goes wrong and I can finally get on a good filming schedule. I'm pretty sure I say that like every few videos, but you know, it is a goal and I really, really wanna try and get more into this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see all the products that I worked my way through this year, my thoughts on them, then just keep on watching. So first let's do like some setting sprays. Um, the first one is this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray. So this is my second time using this. I bought this years ago and it was a different formula and I really liked it and the second time around I did like it but like not as much as the original formula. Um, this one's a bit more hydrating and as everyone knows I do have oily skin so I would like something, you know, that will kind of mattify me and control my oils throughout the day. So, although I did like this, I used it up, I will not be repurchasing this again. And I went through a MAC Fix Plus. I think this was, or maybe, yeah, this was the coconut scent. Um, obviously, I will repurchase this. I did repurchase this. I now have the rose scent I'm trying out. Um, this is just a staple in my makeup collection. I use this either to just set down all my base products or spray my brushes for using like um, shimmer shadows to kind of intensify them more. There's a lot that you can use this for so in my opinion it is just a staple product in a makeup collection so I will always be repurchasing this. Next is the setting spray by um, In Beauty Project. It's the Power Up Dual Face Setting Mist and its use is for under makeup to prep skin, over makeup to set your look, and throughout the day to refresh tired skin. It says it helps to set makeup, energize, and revive skin, filters away dull, tired, and stressed out complexions. I got this in a BoxyCharm and you know I used it up. I won't be going off and buying this myself. It wasn't that great. I don't really think it did any of this stuff. It was just, um, I don't know, it smelled good. So then I have a mini Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And this was like the special holiday packaging. I have the full size version of this that I'm using right now. Um, I've used the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist before many times. I've repurchased this many times. It's something I will continue to repurchase. It is definitely one of the best setting sprays out there. It is probably one of the few setting sprays that actually does what a setting spray should do. It does set my makeup. It helps with the longevity of my makeup. It helps control oils and all that. It does everything I need it to do. So this is definitely will always be a repurchased item for me. Another setting spray is the Milani Make It Last Matte Charcoal Setting Spray. Um, I love this Milani setting spray. It is one of my favorites. However, I think I will just continue to purchase just the regular one. I didn't just because I didn't notice much of a difference. Like this didn't make me any more matte than the original one does. So, um, I mean, I liked it. But I'm just gonna like stick to the original formula. Next I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water in Crystal Clarity. In Crystal Clarity. This was a lavender and sweet orange scent and a collab with the Hood Witch. And I love the Smashbox primer spray. Um it I use it best for just setting down my base face makeup. 
Um, I always like to spray down my foundation, concealer, and all my setting powders before I move on to the rest of my face. And this does an amazing job at that. However, I started using these Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus 3 and 1 Primer Waters. I went through the coconut scent and the cucumber scent. And these are basically the same thing as this and like a fraction of the price. This is like $30 and this is like four bucks. So I probably won't, I'll probably only repurchase the primer water if it ever goes on sale. We'll continue to buy these Wet n Wild primer water sprays. Another setting spray and this is probably officially my all time favorite setting spray of all time. It is the Tarte Stay Spray. This again, just like, what did I say? Similar to the Morphe one, this does what you want a setting spray to do. It really does, it mattifies, but not like overly mattifies. It's not gonna dry you out, but like it really does just lock in your makeup. My makeup lasts forever when I use this. So I definitely will repurchase this. I actually plan to repurchase this to be used at my friend's wedding. So that is how good it is if I'm recommending it for a wedding makeup. You know, it's great. So some powders I went through. The Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This was interesting. Um, I, this is like one of those things that I'll repurchase it if it goes on sale. Um, but I didn't love it enough to just like constantly be repurchasing. Like it's not a product that I feel like I need to have at all times. But this was interesting in that, like, I believe it's made, like, the ingredients is, like, 50% water or something like that. Don't quote me on that. But when you put it onto your skin, it feels wet. But it does a great job of setting down your makeup. So, which is an interesting concept because it kind of goes against everything that we're taught about makeup. So, this was a really cool item. Um, next is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I really did love this at first, and then as I worked my way through it, I didn't love it as much. So I will say I probably will not repurchase this. Um, I did find that this is a lot better for just setting down your entire face as opposed to like your under eyes and stuff like that. And some pressed foundation powders that I like to use these to set down my entire face. I went through the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder Foundation. These were okay. I probably like the Maybelline over the Wet n Wild. Um, I'm not jumping up to go repurchase either of these anytime soon. If I were to repurchase one, it'd be the Maybelline one. But I'm going to keep searching for my perfect setting powder for the face because I have yet to find that yet. On to mascaras. First I went through the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I do really like this, but again, I do really like this, but again, it's one of those I will repurchase it when it goes on sale. And then the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Um, this was okay, but it's just not one of my favorite drugstore mascaras, so I probably won't be repurchasing this. Um, and then the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This isn't my favorite mascara out there. I only got this because it came in a set of three that I bought over um, the holidays. So, I mean, I just used it up to use it. It's not a bad mascara, but it's not anything great either. Um, then the Lancome Grandose Extreme Mascara. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but I went through this quite a while ago, so I kind of forget if I liked it or not, but I think it's one of those, it was okay. It wasn't anything mind-blowing, so I probably won't be repurchasing this. Then the Lancome Once Your Big Mascara. I do really like this mascara. I've bought this multiple times, but again, it's a more high-end mascara, so I won't be repurchasing it until it goes on sale. I got a little sample size of the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara, and to be honest, I have absolutely no memory of using this up, so I don't really know what to say about it. <laughs> and some brow products. I went through the 
Benefit Brow Contour Pro. I did really like this, but to be honest, I probably won't repurchase this again because I just don't, I don't think I used up like every shade in here, so it's kind of a little wasteful. It did break a lot when I was using it. And then I also went through this Trestique um, little sample size mini brow pencil. Um, I got this I got this in a boxy charm and I went through this pretty quickly and I'm pretty sure it broke before I could finish it up. So not something I'm going to go and repurchase again. Um, then I got the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Um, I mean, this was okay. I probably won't repurchase this again because I didn't feel like it, it didn't really set my brows in place as well as I expect a brow gel to do. However, the, the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Mascara was a really good brow setting gel, so I would repurchase this again. Another mascara um, is the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. This is another BoxyCharm item that I had gotten, um, and again, it was, you know, it was okay, nothing mind-blowing, and nothing I'm going to go out and repurchase myself. And a couple more brow products that I missed in here. Um, one was the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. I did really like this, so I would repurchase this again. This is a good drugstore brow pencil. And then this was the Billion Dollar Brows Microblade Effects Brow Pen. Um, and... I got this in a boxy charm and I really liked it. It got me really intrigued to the Microblade brow pen products. So I definitely don't think I would buy this specific one um, because this brand is just not as accessible as something on Sephora or Ulta or anything like that. So I would probably, there's a million other high-end and drugstore brands out there that do the same product. So I will definitely pick up something like this. Next some concealers. First is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is an all time favorite. Um, so I will definitely be repurchasing this. I need to go out and get one. So um, probably one of my all time favorite mascaras both for drugstore and high end. It's so nice, especially for oily skin because it mattifies you and it just blends out so well and it's super full coverage. Um, I actually like it more than the Tarte Shape Tape. So again, this is something that, you know, is a huge cult favorite. I do really love this. Um, it is something I continue to purchase when it's on sale because it is quite pricey. But um, it does go on sale quite often at Ulta. So next time it does, I will pick up another one because it's just always a really nice product to have in a makeup collection. Um, just like... MAC Fix Plus, I think this is like a staple product. And then I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. This is the super size one. So the same product comes in like a smaller tube and then they release like a super sized version of it. What I really like about this is the wand is like really nice and big. And I did really like this product at first, but then as I used it, I don't know if it's just the mixture with other products just wasn't right, but I felt like it just wasn't blending as well towards the end as it did when I first got it. So, um, I don't know. I'll probably just take a break from this. Maybe I'll repurchase it in the future. I'm not saying that I will never repurchase this, though. Um, same goes for the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I completely use this up like there's literally nothing left in this this was a really good concealer um it is a little bit more of a natural radiant finish which you would think i'd hate because i have oily skin but i actually loved it um it looked really nice on the skin and it blended out so incredibly well so i definitely would pick this up again and some foundations um, I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation, uh, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation, Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer that I used as like a BB cream, and then the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. Um, I really love BB creams in the summer. 
and I mean both these foundations were pretty good so again all four of these products are what I'm gonna say I would not never repurchase them but just not anything I'm planning to pick up again in the near future um there's other products out there that I like more than these and there's other products out there that I'm very intrigued in that I would want to try out first before repurchasing something that I've already tried and was kind of like okay about. Especially the Makeup Forever one, just like the setting spray. I had purchased this before years ago and purchased it again after a reformulation and I like the original formula better so I probably won't be picking this up again. Eyeliners, I went through the Too Faced sketch marker look um in black the liquid art eyeliner and the nyx matte liquid liner in black and the ico um just another black eyeliner so i mean i don't even think you can get these two faced ones anymore i don't th i think they discontinue these and i mean it was all right nothing really like special same with this like they were both just basic black eyeliner pencils um the next one is a brush tip and i definitely would repurchase this again this is just good to have this is good for halloween looks too i use this a lot for um and i've repurchased this multiple times in the past so this is something i will continue to pick up i went through this mary luminizer highlighter by the bomb this is old school and it's not like completely done, but it was hard to like pick, there's like still some product around the edge, but it was just hard to like pick up on a brush and it was getting old, so I thought I'd chuck it. And I mean, again, this is something that I probably will pick up because it's a really nice highlighter. I really love it. Um, but again, there's just so much on the market now. So there's other things I want to try. There's other things that I have now that I like more. So it's nothing that I'm in a rush to repurchase. A skincare product. I have the Too Faced Hangover RX Good in Bed Ultra Replenishing Hydrating Serum. I love this. I a thousand percent will repurchase this again. I've heard that Too Faced skincare isn't that great, but the serum was amazing. It really just did wonders for my skin. It cleared it up. And it like added enough hydration that I still need as someone with oily skin. And yeah, I really love this. So I will definitely get this again in the future. Now some more primers. I went through the Dr. Brandt Pores No More primer. Um, the Kane and Austin Prime and Perfect Mattifying Primer. B. Mark Jacobs. Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. And then the Becca um, First Light Priming Filter. So, I would probably pick up the Becca one again. Um, this is like a purple tone, so I really love this because it kind of like canceled out any like red skin issues I ever had. So, this really, and it like set really well under makeup and... Uh, it's just like a really nice primer. The rest of them, I don't even think you could get Kane and Austin anymore. The Marc Jacobs one was like really nice, but it was more of a hydrating primer, which is not necessarily what I need. And it's like stupid expensive. And then the Dr. Brandt one I did really like this does um, do an amazing job of blurring out pores. Um, but there's just so many pore primers on the market again like I've said for many other products not saying I'll never repurchase this but there's other stuff out there that I want to use up and try out that are just like it so we're not in a rush to repurchase it perfumes so this was the Lancome um I forget the name something with Bella in the title I will leave it down below because I can't remember this was my first luxury perfume product so it's always going to have a special place in my heart um i'm really bad at describing scents so i don't even know where to begin describing it to you but i have no idea how to describe it so i'm just going to leave the scent notes down in this in the description box as well i will definitely get this again i really loved it and then i also went through the kkw fragrance i think this was like the Oh, it's right here. The Ultra Crystal Pear and Peony Perfume. This was really nice. I love the packaging because it's like a crystal. 
I love crystals. Um, and this smelled really awesome. Again, this is something that I'll leave the scent notes down below because I don't know how to describe it. Um, the only thing about this perfume is it definitely was not long lasting at all. So, um, but it was good, just like a good like daily perfume and it wasn't that expensive either. Definitely will be repurchasing these at some point. And that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.